Hi, budgeting friends. This is Managing Mona's Mula, and I am Mona, and I want to thank you for being here. I am back at budgeting. I took a 35 day hiatus from budgeting, and I need to get back on track now that it is September. So I hope everybody's month is starting out really great. I have been exercising every morning, so I'm trying to get my physical health back on track, trying to get my budgeting back on track, and I have a paycheck to budget. I'm a little tardy. I should have been budgeting this already by now. So there's not a lot of exciting things happening in my budget. Uh, I must admit it's kind of dull right now. It, there's not a lot of magic or exciting stuff happening, but I do want to plan my paycheck and that we all have clear focus going forward over the next week and a half. Um, I had a CD mature in August, so I have another one that matures in October. And if you watch my last video, you recognize that I am contemplating applying some of that money to my mortgage to pay it down. So we'll see what happens there. For now, I have a paycheck to budget. This channel was established so that I can make sure I pay off my mortgage and document that mortgage payoff journey budgeting my paycheck so I can stay on track and avoid needless spending. I want to save as much as I can because I'm on a track to retire in about six years. So those are my goals, some of my goals. Um, I want to make sure that my health is good so that I can enjoy retirement. So I'm walking every single day, I'm trying to get healthier watching my sugar intake so I don't get diabetes. Uh, I'm really afraid of that. So yeah, uh, the doctor scared me last time. I had some blood work done. So I really have to get my health back on track, my budgeting back on track. And I love numbers, so I like to budget. It's just that I fell off the wagon for a while. It just kind of gets stale and boring sometimes. So I have to try to, try to keep myself accountable and stick with it. So let's budget this paycheck. But first I wanted to share with you that this is the balance that I owe from the stucco work. I had a house stucco project completed in July and I was able to pay almost $7,000, but I still owe but I still want to acknowledge this balance here of 10,000. So I'm just gonna do 10,000 and I'm gonna see how quickly I can recover from that. So when I transfer it into my savings, it's to recover from this $10,000 here. So I'm just going to scoot it in my savings and it will get paid from there, okay? So that's what I owe, and let's get into this paycheck. I'm going to turn to August. Now, August was a magic month for me. Uh, very, very exciting for me because I get to save more and I get to apply more towards um, house maintenance, like the stucco, uh, home repairs. So that is pretty expensive. So let's turn to August to see what I am doing. This is my trusty budget by paycheck workbook. Oh, by the way, did you guys hear that the budget mom is going to be coming out with a new workbook, but it's going to be a little smaller. And so it's going to be a fraction of the size. And you see how this kind of rips away really easy? Well, she made it to where it doesn't come off the rings quite so easy. So I'll be on the lookout for that, but yes, it's going to be a little smaller, so it won't be so big and heavy like this workbook. So let's turn to August. 
This is what I have going on for August. I had three paydays in August, so I need to budget this paycheck right here for August 30th. Aren't these stickers lovely? They're so pretty, right? I got them from Etsy. And if I remember, I'll put the link of the Etsy shop in the comments box, but or in the description box. But yeah, so I need to budget this paycheck for August 30th. And this check will spill over into September until I receive my first paycheck on Friday the 13th. Woohoo! Friday the 13th, yay! So let's budget this paycheck. Let's see, let's turn to August. Okay, let me see, it's for August 13th. Okay, so I need to pay these bills here. Now the gas bill was very low, it was only $19.32 and my electric bill that is $65.11 I don't know why it's so low I'm not going to question it I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth but I've running, I have been running that air cooler because it's been so hot here. So I was surprised that it wasn't higher than that. Home security and water, I don't even have those bills yet. So I'm gonna wait on those. So home security is the same every month. And that is 66.48. And my home water bill is, hmm, let me see what that bill is, um, 92.82 looks like, 92.82. So I am going to hold off on these two bills and pay it with this paycheck. I normally use my credit card for the water bill so I can get points. And once it, I see the charge on my credit card, then I'll transfer the money from my checking account to pay that credit card water bill that I charged. Okay, so I think I have a good idea what's happening. I'm only gonna pay the mortgage, of course, and that is $18.28.58, okay? So that's always a consideration, at least through the end of the calendar year. I have some great things happening the last quarter of the calendar year, so stand by for that. So I'll come back in here and add some other bills. I have my internet bill. Okay, so this is internet. That's not gonna get absorbed until next time. So that internet is 50. My cell phone bill's on the 13th. And that is also $50. Okay, so I'm ready to budget this check. I have a pretty good idea what I need to cover. I hope your August was wonderful. Mine was pretty uneventful. I've just been walking in the mornings. Um, it was a magic month for me, so I was able to save a little bit more and pay extra towards what I owe on my house stucco. So let's turn to the August 
paycheck tracker because this paycheck was from August 30th to September 12th. Okay, so let's come to this. And let me zoom in here just a tiny bit. Okay. So this is August 30 to September 12. I am so excited about those new workbooks coming out. <sighs> we can order them later in the month, I believe. So, all right, so I did have a carryover. I always like to acknowledge my carryover from last pay period. I don't usually spend everything in my checking account. I like to keep a buffer there in case an emergency happens. That buffer was actually 245.83. So then my paycheck rolls in, and that came in at 25.86.03. This is my net pay after all my deductions, 401k, health, dental, giving, and I also have uh, some money set aside into my savings account automatically. So I don't even count that. That's going into my savings account. But what I am gonna do is acknowledge these two and I am going to add these together. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so I had 245.83 left over from last time and I'm gonna add my paycheck, 25.86.03. Okay, so my inflow total is $2,831.86. Okay, so here's where I start with my bills. I am going to start with my mortgage payment. Every time I think about paying this off, I keep wondering, wow, you know, that's a lot of money that I'll be saving every month once I get rid of this mortgage, right? I can invest it, I can save it. I'm gonna have to establish some sinking funds to pay my property taxes and home insurance, but I'll be glad to do that on my own. So 1828, 58. Next, I have my home natural gas. That is due September 3rd. That natural gas bill is 1932, it looks like. Then my electricity. also due on September 3rd, that is slightly higher, 65.11. And I'm gonna wait on those other two bills, the home security and the water until next time. But for now, I'm gonna add these together. So 1828 58 plus 1932 plus 6511 and that gives me fixed expenses total of 191301 I think I'm going to address a question I received here recently don't I have any streaming services like Hulu or Netflix or any of that stuff? And truth be told, I don't watch too much TV. My boyfriend pays for that. I don't get involved with that stuff. I don't, I'm not very technologically 
um, sound. In fact, it would probably be a struggle for me to get all those fancy apps on the TV. And so he just takes care of all that. He pays for all that. So uh, yeah, I don't have any streaming services. <laughs> I don't pay for um, any of those news like Sirius XM or any of that stuff. I keep my budget pretty simple. Uh, I like it this way. I don't have too much coming in or out. So I keep it, try to keep it simple. So I'm going to subtract this from my inflow total of 28.31.86. And that gives me 9.18.85. All right, so I'm not going to take anything out just yet for my cash envelopes nor my sinking funds. So I'm going to have to resume these with my next paycheck. I had been living off of what was in my binder. Um, so I've practically exhausted everything that was in there. But for this paycheck, I'm not going to take out any money for sinking funds or for cash. I'm going to just live on the little bit that I have left in my binder. So I'm going to go into extra debt with 918.85. And I'm going to see about moving this little sticker up if I can. Sometimes these little stickers are stuck on there for good. Yeah, see, this is stuck on there pretty good. Oh, well, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pay $300, though, towards my credit card. I am no longer debt-free. I have debt. I need to pay that off. I had to get some home repairs done, and I did not have enough. So I'm going, and I still have a balance, but I'm still going to pay that $300 towards my credit card. And that will leave me, okay, $300 paid here. That will leave $618.85. Now here is where I've come to the crossroads. I can put this in my savings account and try to recover from the house stucco job. Now the whole entire stucco project was about $17,000 by the time I added the extra work. So it was $17,000 and I am going to try to recover from that. Just put this in the savings account and try to manage it that way so i'm not going to take anything out for savings this time for my savings challenges i usually take out a little bit not this time so i'm going to stay with 618 for now and i may transfer that to my savings account just to recover from the home stucco project so I, like I said, I don't have any cash I'm going to be taking out because I've been living on my binder. You know that pink binder that I always cash stuff? Well, I had an accumulation of money in there that I don't need for groceries and personal spending. So I'm not going to take anything out. But next time, my first paycheck in September on Friday the 13th, I will have to start setting aside for all my cash envelopes and my sinking funds at that time. So it's going to change. Sometimes our budgets are really blah and this is just really blah for me right now. I was even debating whether to even post this video uh, because there's not a lot of magic happening here. It's just my basic bills and a credit card payment. And this is what's still in my checking account for right now. So that's where it's gonna stay until I move it. So that 618.85 is gonna stay in my checking account 
and as I get closer to my next payday, I may just scoot it into my savings account to try to recover from that huge stucco bill that I had to pay in July. So, all right, that's it. That's my budget. Very blah. <laughs> Not very exciting this time, but you know, budgeting is not very exciting sometimes. Sometimes we want to see, well, what's happening and all this exciting stuff. It's sometimes just really boring, right? That's how come I, I struggle sometimes to stick with the plan, to come on these videos, record it, get my video out there. And here it is, nothing really happening. It's kind of boring sometimes, but that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, so. All right, well, that's it for me. I am comfortable with this budget. I do have a little bit of cash. It's gonna carry me through until the 13th. I don't need a lot of money. I have my bills paid. I have food. I'm gonna raid the pantry and the freezer. I don't need to buy extra stuff. If I do, I'll just spend a little of what I have in my spending envelope. I have some money left in there, so. All right, let me know how your budgeting is going. This is my little budget for my last and final paycheck in August. I will come back on or about September 13th with a brand new paycheck and I will be setting aside money for savings challenges, cash envelopes, sinking funds. So it's gonna be a little more exciting than it is right now, but that's the way it goes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. I hope September is going well for you. It is already getting better here. The hot temperatures in the upper 90s and low 100s, they've dissipated. They've gone away for now. I hope they're gone for good. I'm so anxious for this fall season to come around because the weather cools down and I can walk in the mornings before the sun comes out. So I've been walking every day for 30 minutes between six and seven. So if you want to get into a walking challenge with me, I would welcome that, that would be great. Um, so I will see you next time. Thank you for being here, bye.